Yes, yeah, sir. It's your boy, man. We back with another video, man. We definitely outside, man. First of all, before I start my video off, I would like to say happy, 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 happy heavenly birthday, man, to uh, actually to my OG, man. You know what I'm saying? To my pops, you know what I'm saying? Today is my pops' birthday, man. Uh, happy heavenly birthday to him, man, because he created me, him and my mom, and they made me fly as I can be. Actually, my old man is the reason why I'm so fly, because of him. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get on my old man one day, and, and I'm going to break it down, and we're going to talk about him, man. But my OG was actually the flyest that you can get. You know what I'm saying? That's real, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Take it back for y'all. Why I got... Why I got these on, they almost look like gazelles and everything, man. It's because of my pops, man. Why they got the tinted on them, it's because of my OG. Why I got all these custom, you know what I'm saying, furs and all this. This jacket is actually real old, you know what I'm saying. Pops, man. OG, man. So, look. Shout out to him, man. But on that note, too, man. Y'all stay tuned for the rest of the video. You know what I'm saying. Me and Tiny Spokes, that's who I'm ready to meet up with right now. At our legendary spot, man. And we're going to be talking over some big things, man, that y'all might want to stay tuned and uh, uh, check in with. And shout out to Uncle Rick. Uncle Rick got me right. He always get me right. You know what I'm saying? It's the first time I brought the sweater out. You know what I'm saying? Probably the second time because I think when I got it, I put it on and I and I, and I um, did a little preview of the book. So, yes, I also do have the book. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't have that book, uh, I suggest you get Uncle Rick book. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and read it. I have read it multiple times, man. And it's something that you really want to tap into, man. So shout out to him. Shout out to Freeway Rick. You know what I'm saying? So look, also, all I can say, stay tuned for the video, man. Like, share, subscribe. We definitely outside. And I told y'all we be in some legendary situations. And we got a whole lot going on, man. So y'all stay tuned and let's get it. So man, it was it was traffic on top of traffic on top of traffic, and it was a situation. But it wasn't working in LA traffic. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was, I wasn't able to be here right now at the at the timely manner. But I am a little late, man. I am here at the spot, about to pull up on Tiny Spokes, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he already know I'm gonna come in vlogging with the stick. Cause that's just how I do. You know what I'm saying? Look, he got his microphone, he got his thing on, he got he even got his Pendleton on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. He even got it buttoned up to the top too, man. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned for the rest of the video. I told y'all what we got going on, but not all the way what the situation was. Just know y'all better just clock in and stay in with us like it's a time clock. So on that note, man, y'all stay tuned. Let's get it. When God created me. He created his favorites, say he ain't got favoritism, but nigga, I am the greatest, my thoughts are separated by how others be thinking, my story is inspirational, I am an inspiration from the bottom, I emerge like a phoenix from the ashes, never made a hit record, only made classics, I spit it with the passion, told me be humble, they think I'm bragging, I'm focused on my content, you heard about your fashion, the struggle that we living in, the fight is much bigger than... Oh, you yeah. right? You know how to get in. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah, but uh, I want you to have this. Hey, y'all see me, man. Look, he's trying to turn me up. So if y'all know, I grew up in the Don't Be Crew. <laughs> hey, when I grew up, having this wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? No, this is going to get outside. You remember, you remember you back in the day, like, people, the truck drivers, this wasn't cool. You, people that had these, they were singers, rappers. They come out there and this was the microphone. It was yeah, Bluetooth. Right, right. And they came out so they don't gotta do this. Yeah. And he was like, eh, I don't want. But now this is actually cool, man. You like you're doing something. I actually it's a different time now. Well, I just the reason why I like the bigger ones like this is because they got better noise reduction. No, but I'm actually gonna use this. You on like a daily the basis. For real, for real. I'm gonna tell you. It's because people can't say you missed their call. You can't say my hands is free. I'm working right now and I can't grab my phone and knowing me. I'm working on something, my hands is full of oil, full of grease, and I don't want to use my phone to push it. You know, so I can just easily put it on yeah, like yeah, automatic yeah. answers. Yes. Oh, it is on. I'll get it to the button. Oh, okay. Now, the other thing I'm going to tell you, though, is I want to have more time to get to talk. I wanted to, uh, 
set up a conference call so we can test it out. Okay. Because the thing that we're going to do is we're going to pre-record our show. Okay, so, so we can go across. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them, man. No, don't release it. You already did. You already did. Uh, 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 you already did. You already did. You already did. You already You already did. But I didn't say what it is. I didn't say what it is. Actually, if you just pay attention, you did know what it is. Okay, well, just tell them the same thing when you said just stay tuned. There's something yeah. cooking in the kitchen. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But yes. you are ready to open the door and you like crossing the street. <laughs> but now you like you cross the street, you like, uh, I don't know if I'm going, I don't know if I'm going. No, we're going. Or if I'm gonna run. We're going. You know I just I just wanna talk uh logistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're not gonna say, say that. Literally this all we part literally got something going on, man. If y'all know, y'all see these right now, man, and you hey. can already put it together. It's some real legendary going in the kitchen, man. And all I can say is, man, if you haven't got your kids' books. <laughs> Tell them where to get the book, bro. Hey, just check it out. It's uh, it's on Amazon, or you can just type in anything. Buy that tiny spokes that I'm gonna take to the book. Thank you for the plug. No, 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 no. Ain't no thank you for the plug, man. Uh, uh, right is right, wrong is wrong, and if something good, you're gonna try to send it to everybody home. So that's what I'm trying to do. I didn't read the book many a times. My kids actually sometimes they want to read the book every night before they go to sleep. They wake up reading. I also had to hide the book because they think they can go in it and they're gonna look at the characters. They're gonna do this, man. My six-year-old son knows every character in the book, man. It's a fantastic book, man. And it's gonna go to the next level. All I can say, man, it should be all over the world. It should be in every school. You know what I'm saying? And Tiny Spokes and the Crumb Statues, we're gonna come to a neighborhood to you. Even if you want us to come to your house and read your kids a bedtime story and read the book, we'll pull up, man. That's how legendary the book is, man. And I'm telling you, I love the book since day one, man. Since day one, I met this man and, and he popped out with the book. I didn't even know what it was. I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to tap in with him and and and, uh, 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 and get the book. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he was doing, I wanted to be a part of it. And when I went home and read the book, man, I couldn't. It's hands down. That's all I can say. Hands down, bro. I appreciate it. Hands down. And now look. So since he wants me to go ahead and tell you guys what the project is, we about to start something called Hood Enough. Um, it's a little story that's floating around on my personal page right now, but we're about to start it on the, the actual page on Facebook. Also on Instagram, Hood Enough, E-N-U-F-F. Y'all see soon enough, um, we're just doing some planning right now to make no, sure no, ain't no right. See, this is going to happen. Since you already been saying you're going to go home tomorrow, you're like, yeah, I'm ready right now. It's all ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Honestly, what it is is we have maybe one other person that we have to get on board. I'm not going to spoil it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what that is. But the Good Enough Project is going to launch. And it's a new partnership between me and Fly Royal and Trent. That is my bro. So you're going to see, see us out there a lot. Dealing with this Good Enough Project. You'll see soon enough, okay? And we also, we also, what we also promote, man, is positive energy. We're going to get into these schools, man. We're going to try to make change lives in school, man. We're going to bring back, back in the 80s when when cars was cool, when being yourself was cool, wearing glasses wasn't being a square that that's cool. Just being yourself, man. Whatever you like, you know what I'm saying? That's you, and that's that's what needs to go on, man. Instead of like trying to persuade something that is not you, stand up and be yourself, man. Stand, and that's what the book is about, man. Tiny spokes, man. I, I keep promoting that, man. If y'all watch my channel, on, I'm Fly Royal Center on Instagram, man. You can go through there. I love that book, man, and it's for all ages, man. Even if you're a grown-up, you can read that book. You're going to relate to when you were younger. There's a couple games that we used to play, Contact, what they do in the Midwest. In Cali, they call it Contact, which means a car go by, and it's Contact, like, that's my car, yeah. going to my garage. Yeah. So, but what was the name of it that you got? Not over here. I wasn't here. Oh, okay. I was in okay. ATL. Okay, so in ATL, what did they call it? As we did, that's my car. We just we you said, said that's my car. car. That's my car. Oh, okay, okay. See, we called it contact. Car. It wasn't, that's my car. He said, yeah. contact, point of the car. Contact, that's yours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We did that, too. We did that, too. Yeah. That's my car. Oh, I want that one. That one got four exhaust pipes. Yeah. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see that now no more. You don't see wow. kids outside. Yeah. You don't see kids helping elderly people. And, and that's really where it's at, man. Because one day, one day, one day, one day, you're going to be as old as them. And, and just bless that you get to see that age. And you would want somebody to be respectful towards you. You would want somebody to come pull up on you when you outside shoveling snow 
and you not even supposed to be outside, you know, on medication, and you actually shoveling the snow in your yard when you're supposed to be in the house, and some young person comes up and helps you, man, that's what life is supposed to be, man. Helping your elders, open the door for elders. If you see them that need any help, you know what I'm saying? If you see a lady, open the door for them, man. If you see a lady pumping gas, man, help them out. If you see a lady underneath the hood, man, help them, man. You know what I'm saying? Also, tell them what you're doing before you walk up on them, because nowadays you'll get that fire to you. You know what I'm saying? But let them know, like, hey, ma'am, I just want to come and help. Tell them your name. And you remember back in the day when you grew up, bro, you couldn't say certain words to your neighbors or disrespect anybody. You will get your butt whooped from your neighbor. Your neighbor will grab you by the ear. When I grew up, they either grab you by the ear, they're going to pinch you and drag you back home and tell your parents what you did, and you get two butt whoopings. You get a second one because they're embarrassed <laughs> that someone had to go and get you for them. Exactly yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, and if your granny find out, she's going to whoop you too because you're supposed to be a lot more doing respectful in what you're doing, man. Let's get back to that, man. Yeah. That, that made us who we are. That made you who you are, respectable who you are, and the same thing with me, man, to the fullest, man. And you want to think one thing about this too. You got to teach kids that they're bigger than themselves. A lot of that comes from, hey man, I don't my family look bad doing this. Exactly. And that's where that comes from exactly. when, when you know, they took the block and the block will raise you or make sure you all right, your neighbor will check you or whatever. Because if they came home and told your parents, what's gonna happen? What's your father gonna tell Oh, <laughs> that's the third one. Yeah. See, the thing with me, I was four. I didn't have the grandparents would never hit me. I look too much like the elder. See, so my, my, my grandmother, uh, I got punished. I, I didn't and, get spanked. And my grandmother, and I, I don't remember getting spanking. But I was right? afraid of my grandmother. I was oh. truly afraid of my grandmother. And the reason why it was my grandmother's, and I had two. Look, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, uh, you know what I'm saying, blessed to have two grandmothers. You know what I'm saying? They were both living, and uh, I was their favorites. And uh, uh, you know, grandmother got it going on in the kitchen. And you didn't want to do nothing wrong, where well, you're not gonna get nothing out the kitchen. So. <laughs> we was getting so look. I grew up in the. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little information about me. I was uh, grew up in the Jordan Down Project. Y'all can look that up. That is in Watts, California. That's where my grandmothers, both of my grandmothers, grew up in. And uh, uh, my grandmother used to sell cookies. She did all type of stuff and she was well known. And I was one of the grandkids that got to taste the food. A lot of my cousins also. So you don't want to mess up with granny. You know what I'm saying? You carried her big purse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grandma always had them peppermints in her pocket and that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Them soft ones. You know what I'm saying? So you always wanted those things. So you did whatever it took to do those things, man. But the crazy part is now is that there's no more grandmothers. There's, there's like teenagers raising kids and the grandmothers is actually in their 20s, early 30s, out there too. Slow down. Because yeah, y'all know today, I told y'all at the beginning of the video, today's my father's birthday, man. And it hurts me to the heart when I see older men that's older than me that they say that they hate their parents, that they, they don't want to talk, they don't talk to their parents and all those things. Your parents was 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 uh, uh, they was they was immune to whatever environment that they were in. They helped you survive whatever environment that you were in. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's real talk. You know what I'm saying? So you get people that oh you know hey my dad he did this and he did this and he did this. He fed you, he told you, you were safe. You know what I'm saying? And all that. You, gotta love, you, only get, you only get one parent, man. You get, you get a mother, you get a father, you get a grandmother. Luckily, if you get one, you get uncles, nieces, and all that type of stuff, man. There's not a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's not no it's not no owner's manual. Like this, this page. This my book, mom said that to me. Yeah. And, and this right here. There's no owner's manual to raising your kids. You know what I'm saying? I wish it was. Just like you got your car, you can say, okay, my cigarette lighter stopped working. And you go in your you go in your manual, and they say, okay, number 18, uh, your fuse box is underneath your hood, and it's slash number 16. Take that fuse out and put it in. There was no right or wrong answer to be a parent. So how can you hold your parents accountable from not being a good parent when they wasn't given the book to show you to be a, how to be a right. parent? And people are very complex, right? We complex. We're not machines, right? 
So I will tell you one thing. I, I will disagree with you on one point. Okay. There are some people in the world like this. Yeah, young boy I just told you about that ain't supposed to be him. They can find, hey, I gotta tell people like this. Any physically mature, reasonably healthy male can father the child. It take a parent to be a dad to the child. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm I'm say, so, okay. so that's, that's why it's always good to have a lot of people in what you call like an interview or broadcast. You got different people, different, uh, uh, different, uh, my mind is different than his, my thought process is different than his. So what you just said, right? How old is he? Uh, NBA, man, he lucky in his 20s. Right? Okay, so so I will say this. When I was younger, so I had my, my first child when I was uh, in my 20s. So I, he's in his 20s, right? So I got an older son. The stuff that he, he seen me do some things that I wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, just like you're saying right now, I didn't know how to be a parent. I thought that taking them and doing certain things and like this and this, I didn't know. I thought just spending the time with them and this and this. So now he can turn into like a different person where now I'm a different person and I got other kids that I, I'm, I'm older now and now I got a son that's, when I'm older, he's raised differently, different rules that I grew up on. So now I'm getting older and I'm looking at my oldest and now it's like I'm looking at him and honestly, I could say that a lot of stuff that he does is my fault. Well, I, I get it. I, 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 taught, I taught him, he was looking at me, I was doing the things that I thought was right, and it wasn't because at that time I was young, and I didn't know the difference between this and that and all those things, you know what I'm saying? But now it's my job as a parent to try to, to, to hopefully think that I can get into his head to help him tell him and say, hey, I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? That this is wrong. And then you also do kids, and they, they hate their younger siblings to say, hey, you got jealous. Or That's just like even with me, right? I have a, uh, I have an older, I have a younger sister, baby sister, right? Way younger than me. Uh -huh. So the things that my mom let her get away with, I didn't understand that. Like, mom, okay, you used to, you used to whoop my butt because of this. She gets away with it in the past. You know, so what? You know, my mom turned a different leaf in her life. You know what I'm saying? Where she say, okay, those things that I was doing, it wasn't right for her, for me to see those things, to be around those things. And that's one thing I can say that I was in, uh, I was watching one of the lives that Cat Williams is in, right? Whatever anybody says about him, if anybody, and this is a true story, this is not no, I thought or I heard somebody say, I actually heard those words come out of his mouth, that his kids have never seen him curse, never heard him curse. And y'all know Cat Williams, he hurt kids. He, they said, he said that he's never, his kids have never seen him curse. His kids have never seen him smoke a cigarette. His kids have never do those things. And I got to salute that man because That's I know how hard it would be to, to be like, so he had to have rules that he tell his kids, they can't, don't come in here at this time and this time, lock the door on them. Dad is being himself. So it's grown up stuff. He actually, he actually like, Sheltered his kids, and also you gotta imagine how it made him feel. And I never smoked a cigarette a day in my life, but I see people how addicted it is for you to be addicted to a cigarette when your body needs a cigarette, and you're in a room with your kids, and you're like, okay, I can't smoke because my kids is, is in here. I gotta salute him on that, bro. Oh, that's dope. Okay, so I've never heard that. I just heard that I was watching him last night, and I can't even remember what podcast he was on. But to hear him say that, and you can look at his face and know that he was truthful. Oh, I believe it. And you know, okay, you got it. Hey, so look, we closing this out, man. Tiny Spokes and uh, Fly Roy, the translator, man, the Crumb Snatchers, man. We out, definitely outside, man. I hope y'all enjoy what we're talking about. I know that we was all over the place, man. But it was all, you know, strictly from the heart. And just we sitting here having a conversation that we allowed y'all to be in our conversation that we had. And all I can say is, y'all stay tuned because we got a lot more to come, man. And we also got some special things that's coming. All I can say, man, stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Make sure y'all drop something in the comments. Make sure you go get your book, Tiny Spokes. Tell them again. Buy that tinyspokes.com. And don't forget, this man got his own website. So if you want to get to his videos easily, just go to mrflyroy.com. Oh, mrflyroy.com, okay? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sir. So on that note, man, we're closing it out, man. 
We got a storm coming, and I hope we got a lot coming because we're going to make some vlogs. We're going to be in the truck, man. We're going to make some meals, and we're going to be helping people. And hopefully, man, we can help some people to change their life, man, and do better, and to do good things. And also, man, forgive, forgive, forgive. Right? He definitely on that. Yeah. yeah. Forgive. That's the right way to be. I'm teaching you. That's the right way to be. That's the right way to be. Forgive. Forgive. You can't go to the next level if you don't forgive, man. How can you be a better person if you don't forgive? You know what I'm saying? Because one day, I'm pretty sure everybody did something that you want somebody to forgive you for, man. So forgive, forgive, forgive. On that note, we out of here. And hey, shout out. Y'all see me with my unk shirt on, man. So let's get it. Man, so y'all seen the uh, let me turn this this heat on because it's cold and the temperature is definitely dropping. So, y'all seen the demonstration, man, with me and Tiny Spokes, man. We're gonna be outside, man. All I can say, man, y'all stay tuned, stay tuned, and don't be cruel, yeah, sir. This this remind me of the I would never this this thing he gave me, then took me back to the Bobby Brown days, you know what I'm saying? When they was on stage, they had these. But I think they was a little bit bigger and all that. He came outside, man. But look, y'all stay tuned. Let's get it.